I don't know what to say. I thought like analog was just going to be done with things and just keep making different pockets. I've been waiting for their announcement. It's like 8.02 a.m. I haven't seen any announcement, but I was cruising through their product section and I came across the analog 3D. I don't know if they've made an announcement yet. I don't see it on their Twitter. Let me see. Have they announced it yet? There we go. Finally, 36 seconds ago, because I, I I just wasn't seeing it. I just wasn't seeing it. But let's let's take a look at this. The analog 3D, the future is here. 64 bits of pleasure. This is this is crazy. How the heck? But this I I I have I have some worries. I have some worries. I'm not I'm not even gonna like kid. Like I I'm I'm worried here. Because who knows when this is going to come out, when they're going to start asking for money. Who knows what's going on here? Notify me when available. I will do that. I will do that. Wireless Bluetooth 2.4 gigahertz, four original style controller ports, completely engineered in FPGA. Analog OS, no emulation. Well, I mean, depends on how you want to look at it. Uh, but a reimagining of the Nintendo 64 4K resolution. They're... Wow, I'd seen people just the other day, like on on message boards, Reddit comments, saying how like analog's done with innovating, like they're just they're done. They're not gonna do anything else. Like how I said in the beginning, kind of like I kind of thought like oh they'll do another analog pocket or something or like a re a redo of something that they've already done. But this, what? Original display modes, reference quality recreations of specific model CRTs and PVMs. Oh, my God. The first and only aftermarket solution supporting 100% compatibility in every region. USA, European Union, and Japan. Coming in 2024. Look at that eight. Bitto's gonna make a freaking Nintendo 64 controller. Look at that. Oh, dude, we we had our freaking um we we had we had our 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 speculations like oh they put out these Neo Geo controllers. Maybe they're gonna revisit the Neo Geo. The first console that analog ever did was Neo Geo, but it was just you know a recased modified, you know actual like mvs board type thing um that's what the speculation was that's what i thought but no a nintendo 64 nintendo 6 i love the nintendo 64 i know the nintendo 64 gets a lot of hate but that's the one system or the last system that i was extremely hyped for and i, I was a little disappointed with certain things i'm not gonna lie like yeah i've been hyped after that, but I just remember the hype leading up to the Nintendo 64 and my personal experiences. It was one of the last times where it was like crazy, man. Like, wow, you could go on the Blockbuster, play Super Mario 64 before the system even launched. Toys R Us had one. I was just blown away. Like, it was a different era, man. Like, we hadn't seen those type, like Nintendo jumping into that 3D world how awesome super mario 64 was how awesome like there was some great games for the nintendo 64 don't don't get your nipples twisted here it, it, there was some great games mostly nintendo games there's some good great third party games but with under 300 games released total for the system yeah y you know they didn't do quite as well as plenty of other systems out there but man just so many great experiences blast core Mario 64, like I said, Wave Race 64, 1080 snowboarding, Pilot Wings. I, I love Pilot Wings. Launch title. I was I was addicted to that game. Holy crap, man. Um the the Star Wars game, Shadows of the Empire. I love that game too. I, I know it's a little wonky going back playing it. Like that's a problem with some of those games, is like they were great back then, and then you try to go back to them. They're still good, but like the controls were so wonky. Oh my god. But uh yeah, that golden eye, yeah, oh, man, conquer the 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 Banjo Kazooie games, of course, Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, and Majora's Mask. Wow, like I man, 
there's so many fond memories playing games on, on the Nintendo 64. I remember I played Mortal Kombat Trilogy on the Nintendo 64, where other people were like, oh, it's I, I, I'm playing it on the PlayStation, something else, right? So much better. And I was like, I don't, I don't care. I had Nintendo 64 at the time. I didn't get a PlayStation until late. I didn't get a, a PS1 until uh, Final Fantasy VII came out. That's the one thing, man. Nintendo 64 was like, we thought, we thought we were going to have, you know, Squaresoft bringing some Final Fantasy out. And that was one of the disappointments. The, the support started to be lacking with a lot of companies that we felt were like, hey, kind of hand in hand with Nintendo. You know, it is what it is. It is what it is. But my God, a reimagining of the 64 at 4K resolution. What are these guys doing here? My worry is, is them overpromising and under delivering has it happened before sure with the software the features of the analog pocket there's still people disappointed that certain things haven't come to fruition that they brought up they put out a roadmap hasn't quite been followed exactly right so putting stuff out like this which just you know all, all these uh, features original display modes the 4k resolution and recreations of crts and pvms with Obviously, with like the shaders and stuff like that, like man, the analog pocket, excellent. The 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 you know with the display features on that, but it's not like you know with Open FPGA and certain other things, you don't have all the same features. But um, the the screen looks great with the recreation of like the Game Boy Pocket color. You know the different options that they have it looks awesome. But this is like you know you're plugging this into your own TV, so how is this gonna look, right? these CRT and PVM shaders, you know, it's not like they're going to be shaders reference quality recreations. That's a big, uh, that's a big promise right there. Original display modes, man, ain't nobody else. Like there was people talking a while back with Nintendo 64 clone consoles, like Hyperkin, Hyperkin. I don't even pay attention to them too much anymore. Like, I don't even know what they do. Like, they just kind of seem like they dropped off the face of the earth to me like bringing up things and they never come out at least analog. I mean, how many times have they announced something and then announced something else and still haven't delivered the previous thing? Like the, the duo hasn't come out yet. So I'm not holding my breath. This is a long ways away coming in 2024, no pre-orders for it yet. So yeah, we don't know for sure exactly when this comes out. Could be at the end of 2024 could be that, they take pre-orders, say, in spring of next year for a launch later in the year. And then later in the year comes, and there's an announcement of an announcement. And then that announcement says, hey, uh, sorry, we're delaying it. You never know what these guys. But I'm excited. I'm looking forward to this. Not, not a lot of information here. I don't think they put anything in their announcements. No. It, it, it's just the, the, the products. You go down to the products and bam, duo, pre-order now, the 3D. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. This is going to be interesting. It's a long ways away, though. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Bye.